Your name? Namaste. I'm Lakshmi Namayakot and I'm from India. What bothers you, Lakshmi? Well, a lot of things bother me, like your lame jokes. But apart from jokes, I'll show you what really bothers me. So come. Well, this is what bothers me. It bothers me immensely. Mm -hmm. So tell me something more about this. Today, in this world, more than 85 million children are working under hazardous conditions and we are against it. And it's called child labor. You can ask my friends more about this. Come along. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. So tell me about this thing that you're working on. Just to begin with, you know what really bothers me, I should share. Asia and Pacific has the highest number of child labor in the entire world. Can you just imagine? And you know what bothers me, Malvika? You won't believe it. But Sub-Saharan Africa remains the region with the highest incidence of child labor in the whole world. And as an opportunity that I got to work on an assignment for the event management class, I came up with this idea that if we are organizing an event, then we should do something that has meaning behind it. So I came up with this campaign that is a clothes and a book donation drive, which lasted three days. Today was the last day, 9th of May 2016. It has been going on from Friday, since Friday. And it's working out very well. And we didn't expect that we would get this good response from people. As you can see, there are so many clothes that we got, the donations. As you can see, and the messages that people have written, this just shows their enthusiasm and, you know. Yeah, we didn't expect so much from yeah. the people in the university. It was it's really good great. that so many of them came up to donate books and clothes for these poor children. I can see all cute messages up there. Yeah, even all the faculty, I mean, most of the faculties and the students also wrote their messages for these children also. Because nobody has a right to take anyone's innocence away and their childhood from them. Nobody has a right to. We felt it was important for us to actually do our part as, you know, people from this society. But we're actually happy people actually came and supported yeah, without our initiative. Their help, it wouldn't have been possible, have been possible to organize such a huge, huge campaign. It was got good response and people have been writing us messages. Um, congratulating us for the effort we've been putting in and they have come forward and contributed as you can see there's so many things we've collected and it mm -hmm. really really makes me happy yeah. yeah so where is all of these things going to this is going to an orphanage called Arya orphanage which is situated in New Delhi India so all of these stuff are going there and for the children there yes of yeah. course yeah and that is really we have nice. a school library mm -hmm. that's right so all the books will be donated to that library to further the education of those children because children need education each and every exactly. children need education they don't need to be working in any factory you know or lifting even in the household also for the people mm -hmm. yeah. exactly mm -hmm. and that's the reason why i want to say a big thank you to our faculty and to all the members of ASU faculty plus students who came up and supported us so much in this campaign. I couldn't believe it. It's been great. It's been a great journey. And thank you to my friends. So thank you so much. Yeah, and I really, really believe it's time that we step out and do something for others. Mm. So we should not just, you know, be competing against each other. Instead, I think we should empower one another. That is very important. This is Revolution Nation. And we mm. stand against social evils. Because we care. Do you? Do you? Thank you guys.